Hey guys, Dylan Grabowski here with Neon News Today. We're chatting with Fabio Canizan, yeah. co-founder of Nash. Thank you very much for coming to chat with us. Uh, thank you for having me. I always say it's always great to be here and see so many faces from past times. So Absolutely. What, to be here. what at this DevCon uh, has kind of stuck out, uh, maybe compared to last DevCon? Oh, I think everything's so much more mature. You know, it's like uh, the projects that are here are building stuff. It's not just hype. Um, and the public is a lot more DevCon public, you know. It's not only people looking at uh, what's the next price movement. We have lots of developers and as a growing platform, I think that's the most important thing for Neo is having developers in interested in that. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of developers, you kind of focus a little bit of your presentation today on developers yeah. and you, you're releasing a lot of SDKs. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us a little bit more about what that's going to look like? Yeah, so since it's DevCon, we think that we should bring something to developers. Mm -hmm. So our, the news is um, we have an API, like every exchange has an API, but we try to make this API really useful from a point of view of developing applications on it. And the thing is, to have a DEX with a very simple API is really hard because too many interactions going on there. So we decided to do some SDKs which um, reduce the complexity. Mm -hmm. So you have a Python, a Go, and a TypeScript SDK that makes it really easy to write applications using a DAX API, right? Uh, and it's not only the DAX, but also the funds management platform mm -hmm. and the fiat and ramps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with the fiat, um, fiat on ramp, what is that? What's that process looking like right now? It's great. <laughs> uh, people will see it quite soon. So basically, it's as you imagine it. So it's, there's nothing uh, that you chalk you, and that's that's on the point. We want to be very natural to the users. Mm -hmm. So you just select how much you want to buy of which coin and buy it, basically mm -hmm. that. Uh, depending on the region you are, there's different providers. So it's like you see a provider, you choose one, and you buy whatever you want. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've been um, hosting a community group. Yeah. What has that input, um, what, what sort of value has that input been? And you know, what are you looking to uh, do with that community group moving forward? Right, so our battle will be for the community, right? So we said we ha have a launch on March 31 for the community. And the thing is, we have passionate users on this community. So these are people that invested, and not only invested, they believe in Nash. So they believe what we're building. And we want to hear from them on their experience in using is like, hey, I prefer that this would be bigger or smaller. Mm -hmm. So we want to really refine the product together with the community. And I think it's like a unique approach. Other projects just throw away whatever they do. And since we came from the community, we can iterate with the community to get the most perfect product possible. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so the UI looks really awesome. Oh, thank you very much. And you said that Nash wasn't going to be released until the UI was ready. So do you feel that you're there now? No, absolutely <laughs> no. It's like this, this, what we show, I hope changed a lot. So the thing is, at, at Nash, the most critical things we are building is, is the protocols. Mm -hmm. It's all this complexity of trading without taking custody of the assets. So now that we have that ready, we have a, like a minimal UI that we want people to try it. So I hope it changes a lot. So I thank you for finding it beautiful. <laughs> I think it's, it's a half draft of what's going to be, and I hope it changes a lot. And do you think you're going to get some insight during the beta launch? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, it's, like, it's always a surprise when that small little feature that you put five minutes takes more attention than the thing that you work on one year on. Mm -hmm. And then you have to give more attention to that five minutes thing. You know? yeah. So that's what we want to discover with, with the community. You had a really interesting slide on, on your presentation that showed how users are going to be able to use state channels to do cross-blockchain yeah. um, trading. Yeah. So could you tell us a little bit about what those state channels are going to look like and what that process looks like? Oh, it doesn't look like. It's basically, that's the idea. <laughs> uh, you have your funds on the funds management. Mm -hmm. And the way you see it, so the way you go today in a centralized exchange, you just go there and you see Neo F Bitcoin, right? You don't see Neo Chain F Chain Bitcoin Chain. Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing we want to provide. But they are actually state channels with the exchange on Neo F and Bitcoin, but nobody needs to know about it unless they are like, using the APIs to develop and so on. Yeah. But for the user, there's nothing to set up state channels and okay, so on. Okay, perfect. No. Um, so 
you're going to launch. You're going to be in the United States when you launch. Yeah. Did you did you have to go through all of the 50 states for that process, or what does that look like being regulatory right. compliant in the states? Right. So it's not it's not me. Uh, Fabian, one of our co-founders, is the chief compliance. Mm -hmm. So he's the guy who has like uh, infinite patience to to go after <laughs> everything. But yeah, we unfortunately in U.S. is a state by state basis, mm -hmm. and. It depends on the kind of business. So we want to go from crypto to crypto to forex and securities trading, right? So there's a whole slew of licenses that we need to get to that. And our focus right now is on the MVP, mm -hmm. which inside we call maximum viable product because it has everything. But the thing is, uh, we need the money transmitter licenses in some states, and some states we do not. And Fabian is going state by state mm -hmm. together with all our law partners to get the license everywhere. And we think that uh, we have a lot of US users, you know, and we know that US really wants to be part of on, the, on this new financial, this digital finance. So we, we need to su supply this technology to the market and we are just doing the compliance to do so. Absolutely, I was very excited about the project when I first read the white paper awesome. a while ago. Um, so yeah, we've got, it has been some time. Yeah, it has, but you know, it takes time to build greatness, right? Yeah. Um, so we've gotten to cover a lot of great things. We got to talk about your presentation today. Is there anything else that you want to talk about with our viewers or let us know what's going on? Yeah, sure. I, I think this is something that uh, was felt a lot on, this, uh, on the DEVCOM and people who was not in the ground may not feel it, mm -hmm. is that blockchain is the infrastructure, is the tool that we use to build this financial system of the future. So when Homeface says about the smart economy, what's his meaning is like this digital economy where you have smart money being sent around and contracts that are digital. And that's the end goal, you know, and mm -hmm. blockchain is the technology. So I think it was really refreshing to see how the partners in the ecosystem are all aligned on this vision. So everybody's working with the services and the users in mind and not just in love with blockchain. So. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So if anybody out there wants to get in contact with you, what's the best way that they can reach out to you? Right. So to reach out to me, join the community. So I actually spend every day, maybe half an hour, two hours. As, depends on the day. But I, I'm every day on our community forum answering questions. Mm -hmm. um, even if the question is not great, uh, don't feel bad. <laughs> We're going to answer it. And that's the best way to reach me, really. Email is, is just an infinite pool of people right now. And we, we try to answer everyone and be present to our community. So that's the, the easiest way to, to yeah. reach us. It's very much appreciated. Uh, thank you. Well, well, thank you for your time today. Yeah. Thank um, you for having me. Absolutely. To, to see any further coverage of interviews we've had or what we've talked about at NEO DevCon 2019, feel free to go to neo, www.neonewstoday.com. And you can also see some of our coverage on our Twitter feed as well as on our YouTube channel. So once again, thanks for taking the time to come chat with us. Yeah, thank you.